Well, hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are making Runza Egg Rolls. Cue the music. All right, well, thanks a lot for tuning in to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite to watch us make some Runza Egg Rolls. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, or if you just want to learn how to make awesome food, or maybe even start your own cooking channel right here on YouTube, then do yourself a favor and click on that little subscribe button right there, and then hit the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well, you clicked on this video to watch me show you how to make Runza egg rolls. So let's head into the kitchen and check out our ingredients. All right, we got one pound of ground beef, one egg, one onion, some corn oil, our egg roll wrappers, and some shredded up cabbage. First thing we wanna do is we wanna get our ground beef in the pan and get that started. Then we just wanna chop our onion, add the onion in, And we're gonna cook all that up while I tell you more about what Runza is all about. All right, well, I first heard of Runza when I was doing research for the state of Nebraska and what they eat there. Uh, one of the activities that we were doing was to do states around the United States, and we ended up on Nebraska. So I looked it up and found Runza, saw that it was easy to make, easy to do a chef demo about, and that's when I fell in love with the Runza because I do like them now. There's all types of different kinds of Runzas. They've got all kinds of different names from, uh, let me check out my list here. Uh, B-Rock, Kraut Burger. We got a Fleisch, I don't know how to pronounce half this. We got the Fleisch and Kusch, <laughs> Kraut Pirog. And my favorite is the Nebraska Hand Warmer. There's also a restaurant down in Nebraska, a chain of restaurants. Uh, that has a menu full of different varieties of kinds of runza and they also come in different uh, bread different shapes and different sizes and different varieties like we said and of course being its only food kind of wacky we're doing our own twist on it and we're going to be making runza egg rolls which i think will be pretty dang good so let's get back in the kitchen and cooking all right i've got the lid off now i'm gonna just check out where we are in the cooking process of this great Runza, get the light just a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, I'm going to continue to brown this off and make sure it's cooked to a 165 degrees. And then we're going to add our next ingredient. Now you want this ground beef to be kind of crumbled up really good because these are going into egg rolls. So I'm going to smush this all up, make sure it's nice and ground up. Uh, these are kind of like sloppy joes. I've had these, haven't had one. We are going down through Nebraska in about three weeks and I'm going to try to find one of these so I can actually see what an authentic Runza looks like. Uh, I know Dan over there at Smoky Goodness is a Nebraska man. Maybe he'll watch this and leave a comment below in the comment section to let us know if we're doing this right or wrong or if he even likes it. All right, I got this beat up a little bit. Now I'm going to put in some of this cabbage. Then I got, it's just a coleslaw mix, you can tread your own cabbage. But this was on sale at a terrific price for like 89 cents. And I can actually add more to it. It's got some carrots in there, not a big deal. I'm going to spread this throughout. It's important that you leave, that you cover it up with a lid so there's a little bit of liquid in there to help break down the cabbage so it, it wilts up a lot and cooks into the meat. And you'll see when we get, we get close to being done what I mean by that. You don't want it to be crispy. You want it to kind of be fluent, like almost like sauerkraut in there. All right, I'm setting up my station for the egg rolls. So I'm going to break this egg, and I'm going to beat it up. Not going to lose any money. And we're going to use this to close up our egg rolls. All right, I'm going to take the lid off. Mix this up a little more. I'm really not going to add much in the way of seasoning to this, except for a little salt and pepper. I am tempted to use my Szechuan seasoning this to make it oriental. But most of the ingredients I've seen is this ground beef, cabbage, onion, salt and pepper. 
So we're almost there. I'm going to let that cabbage break down just a little bit more. And then i got to cool it before I can handle it. So we'll have to give that time too. All right, the cabbage is cooked. It's loose throughout there. It's broken down. It's not stiff anymore. So we are going to just turn off the heat and we're going to let this cool. I'm going to put it into another container and let it cool. And then we're going to roll up our egg rolls. All right, we do have our egg roll station going on here. The uh, contents of the egg rolls are in the freezer cooling off the beef that we made. But we've got our egg wash there, which we're going to use to put on the tip when we roll up our egg roll. And we want that to uh, seal onto the egg roll that we roll. Make sure that you have a dry surface. There's no water. And kind of have them all ready to go. How many ever that you want to make. I've got about six here and have them ready to go so you're not trying to get into pockets because your hands are going to get a little sticky with this. Dry surface, have everything ready to go. Have your egg wash, cornstarch, uh, whatever you want to use to um, have the egg roll adhere to the egg roll when you roll it up to the tip as you'll see in the oncoming video. All right, we are ready to go. I have my egg roll. I have my runs of meat and cabbage and I've got my egg wash all ready to go too. So what we're going to do is you lay it at a, at a not, you don't want it square. You want it like this because you're going to be rolling up this way. So I'm just going to take out enough of this loose meat here. That's another name too is loose meat sandwich. Uh, and then you're going to take and fold that over and you want it to be nice and tight. So that's pretty much all you do. I got a spoon here. I don't have a paintbrush. So that's kind of the best thing to use. I'm just going to put a little bit of that egg wash on there and roll that up. And there you go. You can make these as big or as small as you want. You can actually use two egg roll wrappers if you want to. But the smaller they are, the quicker they cook. So I'm going to finish these up. And we'll get to frying. Here are the egg rolls that I just rolled. I got five of them out of that little bit. Here's the what's left over of all the meat. I'm actually going to add some refried beans to this and have burritos later. I know I'm strange, but I eat whatever. So we're going to take these. I have some uh, corn oil going in a shallow pan. What we're going to do is we're going to shallow fry these on about a medium to medium high heat just to get them brown on all sides. I'm using a corn oil because it's a neutral flavored oil. We don't want to add any kind of uh, different flavor profile by like using a sesame oil to fry these in because they're not a typical oriental egg roll. It's a runza one, so I want to keep it kind of neutral. And I think corn oil kind of fits into the whole Nebraska theme as well too. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in here. And I will get a set of tongs to turn them because my hands aren't that tough. Remember, have enough oil in here so they do shallow fry. It's best to deep fry these, I think, because then you get a total uh, browning on all sides that's even and it also makes sure that the inside gets cooked as well or heated up all the way through. But these are nice. These are smelling fantastic already. So I'm going to go ahead and continue getting these brown on all sides. And you want to make sure they are brown on all sides, otherwise you're going to get a gooey taste when you go to bite into them. So I'm going to make sure these are brown on all sides and everything's crispy. And then I'm going to throw them on a plate, take a ton of pictures for it for social media, and then I'm going to come back, throw those pictures on the timeline for you to enjoy with some groovy music. And then we're going to taste them and say goodbye.
Here's the uh, plate full of the ones that I made, all five of them, and then I put the one here that I uh, cut in half so we could get a nice shot of what's inside. I'm going to set up the tripod, and then I'm going to try one out in this mustard right here, and then we'll see what it tastes like. All right, there is, get some of that mustard up there. There's the Runza egg roll, a little bit of mustard on there. I'm going to try this out. It tastes like an egg roll because of the shell, and I love that shell that's deep fried in the oil. And then you can taste the mustard, of course, with that ground beef and cabbage in there. It tastes like an egg roll with all the different ingredients like an egg roll has. The inside, it's kind of doughy like it would if it was stuffed into a uh, yeast roll like it does with the, the, when actual runza is done, kind of like a sloppy joe stuffed into a roll. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It's only food with Chef John Polite. Today we made Runza egg rolls. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like this video, leave a comment below in the comment section, and then share this video with everyone you know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food. Bye-bye.